He's the one that put Gallatin on top with two field goals in the first half. So Daniels will get ready to kick the ball off. Sellers stands at his own five. He is flanked by C and Griffin. The kick will come down and over Griffin's head into the end zone. So the Blue Devils will start at the 20-yard line. And Tommy, talking about Stafford, I'm not sure it was the long run. He played a couple of other plays near the end of the first half. So we'll just have to keep in touch to see what's wrong with him. So look for Sellers once again to get a majority of the carries. They will slip Griffin back there at the tailback some, maybe to rest Jade Sellers. So we're ready to start the second half of action. First down and 10 for the Blue Devils, their own 20-yard line. Cherry a wing back on the left side. Clemens deep, eye formation. Behind Reeder, it is Grissom and Sellers dots the eye. Reeder will turn, give it to the second man through Sellers, and he will be dropped at the line by Greg Kimmer as Chris Brock got a hold of him too, and Sellers goes for no gain. Offensively across the front for the Blue Devils, Corley, Woodall, Atwood, Jennings, and Dedman. That's your offensive front five. Carson, the tight end, Reeder, the quarterback, Grissom, and Sellers in the backfield. So second down and 10, two wide receivers as Clemens goes split wide and left. As it is second down, Reeder, straight drop, wants to throw, will hit Sellers out of the backfield. He makes a move on a man, goes airborne for the first down. Lebanon throwing the ball to the back out of the backfield against man-to-man -man coverage. The receivers carry the D-backs deep. Sellers isolated one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, and in most cases, that's a mismatch. And Hamlet had him one-on-one -on -one and tried to take him. Sellers made a little bit of a move and then went airborne to get the first down. So the Blue Devils have the ball at the 33-yard line as it will be first and 10 as Cherry will come wide to the left side. Griffin is a wing back on the left side. Carson the tight end on the right. Reader turns, will toss sweep it to Sellers. He's got a hole and some room to run on his feet. 40, 50, he's got a shot to break it with a blocker. 40, 35, 30, dives and falls at the 20-yard line as he is tripped up by Homer Vaughn. And Tommy, that was the only shot Gallatin had at him. Great effort by Jade Sellers, and look at him, he's dancing around. You're talking about a kid who was in a cast over the summer. Jade Sellers breaks it behind a good block from Joel Griffin. They run the lead play, and Terry, Jade made it happen. 47 yards, one of the best runs you could possibly see. Jade Sellers going all the way to Gallatin's 20. So first and 10 for the Blue Devils. They are nearing the Gallatin end zone. Reader straight up the middle to Grissom, the fullback, fights for a couple of yards as he gets to the 20, maybe inside it down to the 19 as the nose guard Bernard Smith came knifing under Jody Atwood and simply took Grissom's feet out from under him. In most situations, after Sellers makes that big run, you get Stafford in there to give him a, a rest for a couple of three plays. But Stafford's not out there right now. He's being examined by some team medical personnel. So Jade Seller's going to go it alone at tailback. So a short gain. Call it second down and 10 again as they've got the line stack. Reader rolls, wants to throw, has a man complete to Cherry. He's got the first down inside the 10. First and goal for Lebanon. John, right down there in front of you, great play fake, and Brooks Cherry was wide open. The old down and out, Tommy. Brooks takes it, cuts it upfield, gets a first down. We're definitely in the red zone. So first down and goal for the Blue Devils. They will spot the ball at the eight-yard line. As Gallatin has five men on the line, they are sneaking one up as Robert Collier on the far side will come up. Both Clemens in the ball game. John and Jeff split to the right side. Reader will long snap, long count turns, bobbles, gives it to Sellers. He's got some room. Can he cut the corner? Five dives. They will, oh, at the one-inch line. He can't be any closer, and you can hear from the far sideline, Tommy, the Lebanon crowd giving the boos. You can't get any closer than that and not score. Great second effort. Great burst of speed by Jade Sellers, the senior tailback, as he runs and runs and runs and finally runs out of real estate. Lebanon got its second and goal inside the one. And this uh, 
as we told you, they are second and goal inches away from the go-ahead touchdown or the score that would tie it. And don't be surprised if Reeder may not take it himself. His play, he will pound it up the middle. Touchdown, Lebanon. They have tied the score, 845 here in the third quarter. And, Tommy, they took the ball, went down the field on a couple of big runs by Sellers, and they have tied it up. And Zachary will attempt to give the Blue Devils the lead. You can't do any better than that. An 80-yard drive. Zachary will attempt the PAT. Gannon will snap it. Reeder will put it down. The score knotted at 13. And as Tommy told you, Reeder the holder. As the snap to him is down. Kick is up by Zachary Lowe. And it is no good. And 8.45 remains in the third quarter. We are tied at 13. And we'll be back in just a moment. I'm Floyd Siobhan, a junior varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We are here at Burchett Ford Saber Road with Mr. Ronnie Kelly. We would like to thank you for your support and present to you these Blue Devil football souvenirs. Thank you. Burchett Ford is, is proud to support LHS football. Lebanon scoring on their first possession of the second half, going 80 yards and only seven plays. Jason Reeder with the touchdown. The extra point is no good. 8.45 left in the third quarter. This game is tied 13 to 13. And Tommy, the Blue Devils did what we talked about that they needed to do. They came out and scored quickly. They're back in this ball game as Zachary will kick off. McMurray will drift to his 10 to return it. Zachary's kick, a low liner, will bounce to McMurray. He will bobble it at the 15, picks it up. Phillips chasing him, misses him. He's got a chance to move a little bit. Still on his feet and taken down finally as Titus Kelly trips him up, but he gets all the way to the 44-yard line. Buchanan helped out on that tackle as McMurray bobbled the football, swung around. Ricky Phillips, the bandit down quickly, missed the tackle. He got around Trey Reynolds, and then McMurray kind of got hemmed in and allowed those white jerseys to catch up to him. So first and 10 for the Green Wave, their own 44-yard line. Malone, the quarterback, has robbed the tailback. Second man through, going to get the ball. That's Rob, bounces through, big hole. He's on his feet. He's got a shot to go. He will, as Gallatin will score on one play as Rob goes straight up the gut. Second man through. Make it to the fullback. Amira Rob goes coast to coast for the green wave. Folks, we've got a barn burner on our hands. Lebanon and Gallatin slugging it out as Rob just tears it right up the middle. Donahoe will attempt the PAT for the green wave. It is 19 to 13 Gallatin. 8-10 remaining in the third quarter. Not long after we told you the Blue Devils had just tied it just a few seconds earlier. Malone will hold. As the snap down, the kick is up. It is high to the left. They say it's good. So that makes the score Gallatin 20, the Blue Devils 13. We'll be back after this break. Cindy Raid, a junior varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We are here at First Bank and Trust with Mr. Ron Wright, and we'd like to thank you for your support and present you with some Blue Devil souvenirs. Good luck to First Bank and Trust on another successful season. Let's go, Big Blue! Gallatin goes 56 yards. It takes him only one play. Amira Robb going 56 yards for a touchdown. Donahoe with the extra point. 8-10 left in the third quarter. Gallatin has taken the lead again. It's now 20 to 13 Gallatin. And Sellers will drop deep. Terry, how many yards on the evening does Rob have? Have you got that uh, uh, handy? Rob, 13 carries tonight, 131 yards. And that, Tommy, will put him over the 1,000-yard mark. He's at 1,010. Now for the season, as Sanders will kick off, as Sellers stands at his own five, the kick is a good one, but penalty flags fly, and looks like, Tommy, the green wave may have been offside. Well, maybe we'll get a chance to return one. I was talking to Rob Hosier, the guy who does the public address for Gallatin during the halftime break. He tells me Sanders had not hit a field goal all year, and he's knocked down those two tonight, and he is blasting the football on these kickoffs. He's keeping us, you know, back in our own territory deep. 
and maybe now by backing it up five yards, we'll have a chance to return one. Well, he picked a bad time to start kicking well, I'm, uh, I hate to tell you. Yeah, looking from the Lebanon point of view, that's right, but the two field goals, he just mashed them. In fact, the second one, the 33-yarder, uh, I, I think he had plenty of room. He might have had 20 more yards on that one. So Daniels will get another chance to kick it away five yards further back. The ball rests at the 35 now. Sellers still standing at his five. He believes the ball's going deep. Daniels' next kick is another good one, but it'll hold up for Sellers to the two, up to the five, 10, 15, 20, a running start, 30. Puts his head down and out to the 34-yard line will go Jade Sellers as Kenneth Walker the first man to hit Sellers, but not bad field position, Tommy, for the Blue Devils. Good field position on the return by Jade Sellers as Lebanon out almost to the 35-yard line. Lebanon offensively out of the eye formation. Gallatin likes that 50 front. They will run some into the six front. So the eye formation behind Reeder, he has Cherry and Clemens to the short side of the field. Sellers the tailback. They will give it to the second man through. Not quite as successful as Gallatin's version, but it does pick up four yards out to the 39-yard line. John on the sideline, any update on the situation with Chris Stafford? None at this time, Tommy. Uh, still being attended to in the ambulance that's uh, somewhere around the field. So second down and six for the Blue Devils, 7-15. Remaining in the third quarter, they trail Gallatin 20-13 as the Clemens brothers, Jeff split to the left and John split wide right. And as that eye formation toss sweep Sellers, he knocks his own blocker down on his feet fighting. He may get back to the line of scrimmage as he ran into his blocker on the left side, that being Shane Woodall. And Woodall just kind of clogged it up, Tommy. Checking in, Joel Griffin. Griffin's not in there to block anybody. You can bet on that, so... So watch what happens here. In fact, Bo Grissom comes out. So we've got Sellers and maybe Griffin together as a tandem in the backfield. No, we're going one back with Griffin at tight end. Griffin a tight end on the left, Carson to the right, Cherry wide right, Clemens a little short side of the field. And as Reader straight drop, looks across the middle. He's got a man open, that's Carson. Wide open, complete, down to the 40, struggling down to the 31 yard line as he drags a Gallatin tackler, that is Ben Grant. And Tommy, we talked before the game, if they could isolate Carson on a linebacker, they had a mismatch. Well, that's what they're trying to do with the four receiver package, Sam. They've got Carson and Griffin at tight ends, two guys with good speed, really good speed for tight ends. They'll run the wide outs, they'll try to get man coverage, and somewhere along the line, a linebacker's gotta cover one of those people. And they're gonna have four wide receivers again. Sellers out of the ball game, Grissom is the lone back. As Gallatin looks to be blitzing, it is Grissom off right side, big hole, five yards, and down to the 25 yard line he goes, picks up almost six. As Tommy, they come with the one back look, this time with Grissom, and they just go off the right side. Lebanon calls at the ace set, one back in the backfield, two tight ends, two wide outs. As what we're trying to do is just get that man coverage in the secondary and then take whatever the defense gives us. 545 remaining in the third quarter, second down and a short five for the Blue Devils. That same set, Grissom in the backfield, seven DB or lineman up. Grissom again up the middle, fighting and struggling. Gets to the 23, he will be short of the first down by about three yards, so it will bring up third down for the Blue Devils. Galton with a couple of defensive substitutions. Rogan comes into the football game. Also checking in Robert Collier, outcome a couple of down linemen, so Galton trying to go with some beef in there. So third down and three, as the lone back this time it remains Grissom, and as Coach Dillard out on the field. Turn, they will fake it to him. Reader wants to throw, has his man incomplete to Griffin as he tries to hit him at the 20. Reader under through him. So it will bring up fourth down and three as Sellers returns to the ball game, Tommy. We had, we had Griffin out in the flat running short. Lebanon's gonna take a timeout and discuss this big play. As we're looking at fourth down and four, four minutes, 59 seconds to go in the third period. Lebanon wants a timeout.